Hey, hi there, welcome. I'm Judy Fleming, Director of Howie Acres Canada, and today we're going to talk about water, the importance of water, and the fact that we need to consume the right water, we need to shower in the right water. So we're going to talk about the water-wise distillers and the shower-wise showerhead. Uh, we'll start with the distillers. We have three distillers. Uh, we have the WaterWise 9000, the WaterWise 8800, and the WaterWise 4000. And all three of these distillers do one American gallon or four liters of water. And it takes about four hours to do that amount of water. And they all have approximately the same distillation coils in the top part of the um, distiller. Now one of the things I, I should make sure we understand is what does a distiller do? Well, a distiller takes the water from the boiler, and this is called the boiler, this is the boiler, and this back here is the boiler. That's where you put the water and it boils. And then what happens to water when it boils? Well, it becomes steam, and the steam rises, goes through the distillation coils, and drops back, once, as it cools, back into the jug beside. We have a glass jug here, we have a PVA-free jug here, and here. Um, so that's what's happening. And what's happening to the water as it boils? Well, it's leaving all of the inorganic minerals from the water that, that come from the ground. It's leaving in the, in the bottom of the distillery. And we don't want this inside our body, building up this plaque on our arteries and, and causing problems in our body because of the things that are in the city water. So the... Uh, the water then is, is pure, empty, dead water, I guess you can call it. And we need to revitalize that afterwards before we drink it. And we use something like the um, uh, Hydro Boost, which used to be called Watermax. And we use that, we put that in the water after it's been distilled to revitalize it, to put um, ionized minerals from sea, uh, sea minerals. And it, uh, it brings the water up to about an 8.2 alkalinity. So we have living water again. Okay, so in the bottom of our um, boiler, you're gonna have all the inorganic minerals from the, from the ground, and um, they're, they're wonderful in a plant because a plant pulls up that water, takes the inorganic minerals and through the process of photosynthesis, changes it into um, organic minerals in our, in our raw foods. And, and that's where we can get a lot of our good healthy water from eating our healthy living foods. But let's get back to the different distillers and I'd like to show you um, each distiller individually. We're going to start with this one here. This is our most popular one. It looks nice on the counter. It's got some electronics in it. So people really like this because when they go to use it, they can leave it in place um, in their kitchen without having to move the whole thing every time they want to distill water. Um, they take the boiler out and the boiler has a lid. You have to slide the lid over. If you listen, you can hear the click. So we slide the lid over and then we pull the lid off. You slide it to your right and then we pull the lid off. And then inside is a stainless steel in interior and this is really easy to clean and I'll show you at the end of, the, of this uh, um, class how to clean this. But we're going to fill this up to the maximum line with regular tap water. Then we put the lid back on, press it down, and it has a suction um, uh, ring around here so it, it actually can hear it, it, you can hear it grab onto the distiller. And then we're going to make sure that we push very gently this back until we hear that click again. Then we take this and this here plugs into the one in there and we slide it in very carefully until it clicks. Then we plug it in and actually we leave ours plugged in all the time and then we just press the on button um, that, that starts it. And you're going to hear a sound, a very quiet sound of a motor running. It's the motor in the, um, the actual distiller that's running. And gradually what happens is the water in here boils and it's going to take a good hour, just like a kettle, for that water to boil, and then the steam rises and it goes through the distillation coils and it'll start dropping down into here. It might take an hour before you see any water in here, or half an hour at least. Gradually the water will fill up, and the nice thing about this distiller is if I need water, I can pull this out and I can use the water and then put it back in and it's not going to keep dripping down. It has a, a little lever that allows the water to um, drip in. But I have to make sure I put this on square on so that it's on the little ridge here and we push it in until it clicks as well, okay? 
And when we're finished, about a four hour period, we're going to have a full four liters or one American gallon of distilled water in here. So it'll be filled up to about here. And then we're going to take that water and we can take the lid off of this and we can actually um, put the water mats into this jug or if you have another jug and we can, you can actually buy extra jugs. So you might have another jug in your uh, back kitchen or something um, so that you can now put this one in here and then you've got this one you can use. Now, it has another filtering system, a carbon filtering system that it, uh, all distillers have. And this is just as a precautionary thing. And these are the filters. They come in a, a box of six. And there are, there are, there's six boxes, or there's six um, filters in here. And this is what it looks like. You take it out of the plastic. You put it into this space right here. Put this back on. And actually, you should probably soak this. And it comes with instructions and follow the instructions. I actually boil water take it off the stove, and then put this in and let it sit for a few minutes. Then I take it out and I put this in. And now we've got our carbon filter that's going to filter out uh, any, any particles that maybe are still in the water. It's, it's a precautionary thing though. Then we put this back on, it clicks on, and it's got a, um, a handle that you can pull back to pour it out. Be very careful when you're pouring that you don't have water all over the place. It does, you have to be careful how you pour. So that's how this particular one works. These box of filters um, are six filters in a box, or you can buy them individually, and a filter should be changed. It depends on, on the volume of your use, but in a family of, of two adults and two children, you probably could change your filter once every two to three months. Okay, so here we have the WaterWise 9000, and it, it's kind of a nice one too because it sits on your counter and you can plug it in and then you just leave it. You don't have to move it. Um, it. You have to find a spot that it fits on your counter though, of course. Um, and if, as all of my appliances, I leave them where I use them. So I leave my distiller close to where my water tap is, okay? So this is the WaterWise 9000. It has a blue jug, PVA free, and it had, that's going to capture the water, the distilled water. And then it has a, a boiler as well. And this little thing, a spout at the um, end, has to go into the area at the back here. And as you notice, as I push it in, it clicks. Everything clicks. If it doesn't click, you haven't done it. Okay? Pull this out, you take this to the tap, and we fill it with water. Now, unlike the other one, it has stainless steel at the bottom, but it's plastic lined in here. Okay? So that's why I like this one a little bit better. It's totally stainless steel, so the water is touching stainless steel when it's hot, okay? Not any plastics. Um, so you put the water in, and you put the lid back on, and you make sure that you seal it tight so that the steam doesn't escape. You put this back in here, and then the jug, it comes with a lid, and when you're storing the water, you might want to put the lid on it, of course, but you take the lid off, you take the little carbon filter cup, and you pull the the uh, white, the plastic off the bottom, so the water, and you, you should actually rinse this, rinse it in hot water for a few minutes, and then you just flip it in there, and put this back on the front, and now it's ready, so that when you plug it in and you press the on button, it will start, um, the on button's at the back here, it will start and you'll have, in four hours, a, a, a four liter jug of distilled water. And then you can take the filter out and you can reuse this filter for up to about a two month period. And you put the lid back on and then you can store this in your fridge. And it has a little sprocket here so that you can actually press it and the water comes out into your glass. So you can have it on the edge of your counter. Uh, I guess I could put it there so you can see it. And then you can put the glass up and, and get your water that way. Or you can buy any one of our extra jugs. And we do have extra jugs for all the distillers, we have an extra jug for the WaterWise 4000, blue plastic. We have this one, PVA for plastic for this. So you could keep your water in those. Well, here we are back again with the WaterWise 4000. Now, this is the one that I have in my own personal home. We use this one in the Howley Apiers kitchen, and we use this one in our own personal home because this one's less expensive. Um, so when I was buying one, I had to think, can I afford to spend the extra money? And I decided to 
uh, use my extra money on, on a different kitchen tool. Um, this works just as well as either one of these. It's got the same water-wise distillation coils in, in the top. Um, I like it because it's less expensive, but there is a little bit of cumbersome use with this one. First of all, the lid is separate from the base and it's plugged in. So you have to unplug this every time that you want to use it. Take the lid off. It's got a beautiful stainless steel interior. And you know the nice thing about it, I should have brought mine from home, my inside interior after 13, 14 years of use still looks like this after I've cleaned it. Um, so it's good and that's why I like the stainless steel. It has a, a coil, uh, a cord um, here that you have to make sure that when you take this whole thing over to the tap and fill it up. And then you got to carry this, and I have mine at home, right next to my tap because it gets heavy. This is a, a gallon of water, weighs about 20 pounds. So we uh, fill it up to the full mark, then we have to put the lid back on, and the spout on this particular one is where it, this is the filter. The whole thing is a, is a brand new filter. So what you do is you, you peel off this little red thing, you put the spout and you just get it so it sits in there and it sort of clicks and you can buy extra filters and we can buy a whole box of six at a time or just one, whatever you want to do. And uh, so that's the spout and that's where the water drips out and the carbon filter is there, okay? So then you have to put this on and you got to line it up so that it's going to go on and squeeze it down so you know that the sill is uh, the um, rubber gasket here is, is, is sealing this so the steam won't come out. So just press down hard on it. Then you got to plug this in and then we've got our jug. And Jessica's going to come in. We didn't take this all apart for you because um, that's what it looks like with the handle. And uh, when you buy it, this jug is inside this, inside this box. So when you pull it out, this is what it looks like. Um, we do have a replacement jug for this one, and the replacement jugs um, are plastic, or you can buy glass. I like the fact that mine at home is plastic, because I don't, I don't have to worry about this breaking. We have a lot of people who, because of when we're doing things, we, we're banging things and whatever, glass, it, it's not a very practical um, thing to have your water in, because it, uh, it can break easily. But anyways, you would take the lid off of this, or this one, and you put it so that the water drips down into it. So every single time you use this, you do need to do all of that. And then when you're finished, there's your water. You can put this, it's got a nice um, grooves here to make it easy to um, hold. You put the lid on it, and then that's ready to put it in the fridge. Um, this one, as I said, it comes with, all of the distillers come with an extra filter. So you always have, when you buy it brand new, you have the one that's in it and then you have a, another one. Um, and this lid is, is, is just like in the picture here. Uh, it's got a handle on it so that you can, if you're careful, it's got um, a little bit of plastic at the bottom so it doesn't slide um, off your counter or something like that. And then every time you want to use it again, you've got to remember to unplug it. And, and this is a little bit stiff, and mine after 14 years is still pretty stiff. So um, take the, the lid off. Now, when you finish distilling, this whole thing is going to be hot. It's not hot to touch the outside, but you have to let it cool before you take the lid off because there's always a tiny little bit of water in the inside at the bottom and you want to make sure that the steam doesn't come out and, and burn you. So be very, very cautious after it finishes distilling. And as I said before, it's four hours for all three of them. So once it finishes, it shuts off automatically for you. You do not have to be home. You can leave while it's happening, and it shuts off automatically, which is a good feature. So that you uh, you, you just let it sit for a few minutes, and uh, then you can take the lid off and, and, and clean up the inside and fill it back up, because chances are, if you're like my family, you're going to need more water again. We put ours on twice every single day. I'd like to show you how to clean this, because obviously this needs to be cleaned. Now Jessica's doing a real close up here. You can see all the, the inorganic minerals that are built up, and all the other things that they put in our water. The fluoride, which we, we know is really not good for us, uh, the chlorine, and, and there's all kinds of other things in our water. We want to make sure that we get them all out of the water so that we're not consuming them. So what we do to clean this up, and I thought I would actually 
uh, clean this one. This is uh, one of the first generation WaterWise 8800s and it was only uh, three liters and uh, it's still the same one. It's uh, 12 and a half years old, still using it and this is the one we use here in the store. So it just shows you, it does have a long shelf life, I guess you could say. If you're careful with it and, and you treat it well, it, it'll last for years and years and years. So you want to take your white vinegar. This is the stuff we do not use on our salads or anything else because this white vinegar, it's going to actually clean all of this. And therefore, do you really want that in your body, okay? So we're going to take some white vinegar and we're going to put about a cup of white vinegar. And if you need to measure it, uh, go ahead and measure it. I pretty well know what a cup is on this since I've been doing it for so many years. So I fill it with, um, I, I put my white vi vinegar, a cup of white vinegar in here. Then I fill it up right to the very top and leave it sitting next to my sink. Okay, so um, normally I leave this sitting right next to my sink because I don't want to have to carry this and have it sloshing all over. But I want to fill it right to the very, very top so that the vinegar and the water now it's going to work at cleaning this distiller and it's going to do a good job cleaning it. It's going to take a couple of hours maybe so I always do this um, when I'm not, when I've just finished with my water so I don't have to worry about I need more water because it's going to take a little bit of time. So we'll come back to this in, um, and, and I'll show it to you once it's had time to clean. Okay, so we've talked about the distillers. This is the water we're going to put inside our body. And, and a lot of people don't realize the water that pours all over us during our shower. We have, our skin is, is, is full of pores and um, water is absorbed through our pores when we're having our shower or our bath. So it's just as important that we don't put those bad things inside of us, that we don't put them over top of us for our body to absorb them. So we have what's called the ShowerWise um, Deluxe Filter System and this is made by WaterWise. And what it is, is it's a filtering system that takes out all the bad things. It even, even takes things out like E. coli and, and um, uh, arsenic and all the things, all the bad things that are found in our water as a result of the animal's urine that goes into the water because they, they're right next to the water. Um, there's just so many things, the industrial waste that goes into our water. There's so many things that go into our water that we want to filter out. And this is a fabulous uh, uh, filtering system. And this here will go on to any, any pipe coming out for a shower. It has the threads so that you can screw this onto the pipe that comes out of your wall where your shower is. So you take off your old shower head and you screw this on, okay? And, and this is a, a fabulous um, filtering system and, and we have inside of this, obviously, the filter. And the filter has some... It has uh, white sand and other things inside of it that filter through and uh, the water will go through that before it comes down into our shower and uh, it pours all over us and it takes out all the bad things. Now this filter only needs to be replaced about every 12 months depending on how many people are having showers. So if you have a family of four and they're having showers, all four people every single day, then you might need to replace this in, in eight to ten months. If you have a family of two and they have a shower every single day, you might be able to re keep this for a year and a half, okay? So anywhere from 10 to um, 18 months. Then we have the actual shower head that, that screws on over top. So you put this on first and then you screw on the shower head. And this is a great shower head in that it saves water. It has different um, adjustments so that you can get your, your spray. And it, it's actually quite a nice spray that comes out. Um, so this um, will work. Uh, nicely for you. But if you have a shower head that you like already, that's great because you can buy the whole thing and uh, put this on and then put your shower head and we have one that has the shower head and then the, uh, the, the handle that comes out so we can spray things and whatever for our little granddaughter when she has a shower and uh, it works very well that way. It's, it's a, a really good system for when you're having a shower. Well, what if you have a bath? Well, turn, put your plug in, turn the water on, let the shower fill your bathtub, and now you can have a healthy bath as well. Okay, so the second part of the cleaning is, what. remember we put the, uh, um, the water and the um, vinegar, and we want to use one of our little scrubby brushes because we don't want to harm the inside. And being stainless steel, it scrubs up quite nicely. 
I've emptied out a bit of the water because I don't want it spilling all over the place. And I just make sure that I get out as much as I possibly can. Now, just a second, and I'll show you what we have here. You can see at the bottom there's still some of the scum, I guess we'll call it. So now what we do is we put in a little bit of vinegar just to cover the bottom and leave that. And you'll be amazed in 15, 20 minutes, all that that's on the bottom that, that's very hard to get off otherwise just gets all dissolved by the vinegar. When you're doing your cleaning, never, never, never turn it on and put the lid on and put it through the machine. You would destroy your machine because you get that vinegar flavor all the way through and you'll never get rid of it. So when you're doing the cleaning, make sure everybody in the family knows that I'm cleaning my distiller, don't touch it, and uh, I'll show you in a few minutes what happens to the bottom of this and how nice and clean it all is. Okay, so we're finished the cleaning and it didn't take all that long. We started this morning at about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. And here it is around noon and we're totally finished. So if Jessica can zoom in on that, you can see we have a nice shiny stainless steel inside. But it is, it is something you have to work on to, to get it clean. Um, you can buy other, other products to clean um, the water-wise um, distillers, but those products are much more harmful to your hands and the fumes from them. So we, we like using just the, the white vinegar um, to clean them. And now this is ready because I've rinsed it out and it has no more vinegar taste, so it's ready now to go and add more water to it. We also have a couple of books that uh, you can get here in Canada. The Choice is Clear will be given as a gift whenever you buy any of these products. And we also have um, a few more of the um, Water Can Undermine Your Health by Dr. Norm Walker. Both very ex excellent sources of good information. But I'd just like to read you something from my own book, um, uh, Let's Get Started Manual. And uh, we have a, a page in here that's on the importance of water and where do you get your water from. Hydrogen and oxygen make up the water molecule. Anything else in our water must be broken down and cleared away by our liver. Again, if our water contains these other things that are harmful, our body will have to have problems and disease will set in. Pure distilled water has nothing in it but hydrogen and oxygen so that the blood and lymph system can use it in their work. So we need to revitalize our water with minerals and we want them to be organic minerals. To help make it alkalize and give our body the needed source trace minerals we need to live our lives. And that's why we add the um, Hydro Boost. Uh, another thing we have is the Hydro Boost is on sale at 20% off uh, for the next, um, well, for the whole month of June anyways. Um, and uh, I'd like to thank you today for joining me in talking about the importance of water and the tools that we use to get ourselves healthy water.